Good morning guys, it is Kelly from Freedom in a Budget and we are doing a collab. So a couple months ago I did a collab of my favorite Aldi items and today we're gonna do a little something different of the items I don't really like at Aldi because at every place there's things that you like and you don't like. So we're gonna check out Aldi and see what I don't like. So let's go, I got my quarter and my bags. The first thing I don't buy is the apple juice. I was really excited to try it. Jamie loves Mott's apple juice and I was like, ooh, I can trick him and it'll be perfect and he'll never know the difference, right? Yeah, even I could tell the difference. I was not a fan of Aldi's apple juice. Sorry guys. Produce is really hit or miss here. You can either go really good or really bad. It does go by faster than most produce I buy at Publix or other places. So if you do get it, you just have to eat it up really quickly. The chicken is another thing I do not buy. I tried it for a really long time, the fresh chicken, it just didn't taste good. It tasted rubbery. If I did make it, it was good the first day, but anything reheated, I did not like. So sorry, but the chicken, not so much. Next on the list is the pre-packaged deli meat. I just can't do it. I do it for Lyle and it just did not work for me. This kind of here is a little bit better, but it goes by really fast and it just, it gets gross and slimy and I can't do it. Next up is their bread. It seems to go by a lot faster than other breads and I just don't like it. They do have this um, low calorie bread that is only 40 calories in one point. I was so excited to try it, but it is just too whole wheat tasting for me. Um, I much prefer the nature's own bread at um, like Walmart or Publix which really sinks because the price is unbeatable, but I just can't do it. Last on the list is the broccoli florets, the frozen broccoli. I don't know why, but it just crumbles. It does not taste good. It's gross, but, but we have an alternative. The steam, um, the California medley broccoli is actually really good. So this broccoli is okay. The other kind, not so much. Their fresh broccoli is good, but if you're looking for frozen broccoli, I don't buy it at all. All right, guys, so we, did our things that we don't like about Aldi, but there are so many amazing products at Aldi. As you guys know, I shop at Aldi every single week. It is my favorite grocery store. So check out all my grocery hauls, and I wanna tell you everything I did buy at Aldi on this trip. So I spent a total of $35.35. I got rice cauliflower for $1.89, two bags of veggie mix for 79 cents each, a two bags of steam um, California medley for 99 cents each, Parmesan chicken tenders for $5.79, two zucchinis for $1.99, fat-free half and half for $1.99, um, low-fat cream cheese, $1.29, non-fat Greek yogurt, $3.69, plain yogurt, $1.89, two of them, brownie mix, $0.85, cents. yellow squash, $1.89, Face wipes, $149. Soy sauce, $129. Baby carrots, $0.99. Cents. Two things of strawberries for $139. So there's still so many amazing products at Aldi. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. But you know what? Every store, there's some good things and some bad things. So I was, I'm just so glad to do this collab. Check out everyone else that's participating. There's some really, really great channels. So they will be linked down below in the description box. Please go see them. Let them know that Kelly from Freedom in a Budget sent you. And if you're coming over from the collab, welcome. I hope that you subscribe and that you stick around for a while. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.